I'm not sure what to say when we review, because I'll be honest, I don't like those. Hi, I'm Brooke. And I'm Brad. And together we are We Love Horror. And today we're watching a movie called Terrifier. Brad, have you ever seen this movie before? No, I have never seen Terrifier. And so with Terrifier 3 coming out, I thought this would be a good opportunity to actually watch Terrifier. I know of Terrifier. In fact, we actually met a Terrifier clown. We did. We did. Uh, we, you didn't even realize it. Well, but I've never have, seen the movie either, we, so I wouldn't have made the connection. I'll, I'll post the picture right here. But we went to Horror Hound, and we met, well, you met a, I don't think it, it was not the official Terrifier, the official okay. actor. Although we could have met him too uh, at another Horror Hound. But we met some. We met a fan that was dressed like uh, the Terrifier, the Clown. Um, cool. he, he was choking you if you don't, if you remember. I do remember that, yes. but I didn't know about the movie, so I didn't know that he was anything other than just a scary clown. <laughs> yeah, she just thought it was just a friend coming to greet. <laughs> Pretty sure he's not a nice clown. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I know very little, and I made it. I did that on purpose. I, I have an idea that this isn't going to be a movie for children. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, no Charlie. Right. But um, we'll watch it, and it'll be a great first-time reaction for both of us because we haven't seen it at all, so that'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing your reaction and my own, I guess, to this movie. <laughs> Go ahead, let's get into it. Something bad is happening. Yeah, yeah. Static kind of Welcome back to the program. If you're just tuning in, I'm sitting here live with the sole survivor of the Miles County Massacre. Time to sit down and speak with me. It's my pleasure. Now, when we left off, we were talking about the moment you woke up from the coma. I wish I was dead. This is a little... It's going to be a little goofy. Like, they're trying to make it scary, but it's also going to be a little goofy. Apparently, he doesn't clean his knives after he uses them. He picks up a knife to use, and they're, like, all laying there bloody. Yeah, he doesn't properly clean important because aren't you supposed to remove all the DNA evidence? <laughs> doesn't seem to care about DNA evidence. Did you watch it? Oh my god, I thought she was going to attack me. <laughs> yeah, well, if you think she looks that bad on television, imagine what she looks like sitting two feet away from you. I was going to gag at one point. Aww. If I ever look like that, promise me you'll put me out of my misery. Uh-oh, foreshadowing. You think I'm kidding? Hey, can I call you back? Not very oh, nice. Like <laughs> no. I don't think we're supposed to be rooting for her. Hello? <laughs> Tom? Oh. Ew! Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, so the victim is also a killer too? Yeah. I would assume deranged from being God. mutilated. Are we really gonna do this right now? Give me the keys. Oh. I'm gonna fight you like a cat. Really Give me what I want. Okay, 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 okay. Give me a try. Hey, <laughs> handsome. Good friend wants you to help her. How can you? Oh, I just did her. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at your boyfriend. I told you this a week ago. We'll go to your mother's, I don't know, six weeks ago. Ew. Anything to I'll be right with you, buddy. I guess they're his tools. You gotta see the shit. I don't like that he just sat down and is staring like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Well, he smiled. Yeah, that made it worse. <laughs> That's not a friendly smile. Ew. Ew. Wow. Excuse me. Can I get a picture with you? He's only interested in that other girl. It's really creepy. Hello. Ooh, that's creepy, too. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Thanks. What can I get for you, buddy? Can you hear me in there? Ugh. Oh, God, it's going to be a long night. you got to give them a present. Thanks. You two okay? I feel oh, like he's not they need to call for like a police okay? escort. <laughs> yeah. Don't go alone in the bathroom with them. They're gonna look inside. Yeah. Hey, hey. I don't come back. There's 
probably like a head in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he was busy in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What? You're tired. Fuck. Has it been like this the whole time? I think I would have said something if I'd noticed that your tire had exploded. Give me your phone. I'll call my sister. No joke. Oh. One o'clock in the morning. You know, there's a flat tire and no spare, and I was kind of hoping you could pick us up. I'm laughing. It's just, it's like goofy the way they made it look. Yeah. It doesn't really look real. It just looks kind of goofy. <laughs> Ew. Gross. I really have to pee. So go. Go. I feel like the friend is almost like too annoyed with her. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes? I'm sorry to bother you. Is there a bathroom in there I could use? Just let her use the bathroom! <laughs> Oh my god! What does that mean? All clear? You sure? Rat free. What if one crawls out of the toilet? I'd make it quick if I were you. You remember how we came in? I remember. Okay. Well, um, you have a nice night then. If Me he's too. gonna get in a lot of trouble for Thanks letting again. someone in the building, he should probably wait Don't until that sure. person's done and then walk them back out to make sure they weren't that, just trying to get in to steal stuff. That really should just be a part of it. Oh my god, you're never gonna believe what I just heard on the media. <gasps> Ghost. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh, oh no. no oh, okay. But he'll be he'll be dead now. She's involving him. I know. <laughs> I wondered why she didn't run up to him, but I forgot she got hurt on her leg, so she's probably walking oh. a little slower. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, he wants to take his time with her, obviously. That's not a good position to be in. It's interesting how he has no lines, yet he does a lot with his eyes. Like, he'll just raise his eyes at you, raise his eyebrows at you, and it, like it's like a lot. Expecting nudity though. <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous because I was thinking that it was the worst thing in the world to have your throat cut, but that's not the worst thing in no, the world. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Well, I was about to say, well, at least they're not showing it. No, they're showing it. I'm not sure what to say when we review because I'll be honest, I don't like those. It's too. The, oh my gosh. The, the clown is like scary. Like, I like how he looks because he's scary, but I don't yeah. like all the gore. It's just not my thing. Yeah. Okay, see, I don't believe it would be possible. Maybe it is, but I don't think it'd be possible for you to cut somebody all the way down like that because you have bone and everything. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's like I want to look, but I don't want to look. Well, getting away probably doesn't do a lot. I mean,. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't just... You must... They always just injure the person and then, like, leave, and then it's like, he's gonna get you. I understand you're scared and you're panicked and you're, like, you feel like, okay, I got a chance to get away. But then you gotta... And she didn't even aim for the throat or, no. or like, the head or anything. She just, like, went through the body, which, I mean... Yeah. Ugh. So he has a knife now where? He is, it was, like, in his back, right? Yeah. I kind of feel like the filmmakers thought it was scary to have the clown walking around with blood on him, but I actually feel like that takes away from his creepiness. Well, he would have blood on him, though, bro. Oh, he absolutely would. If they didn't have blood on him, I'd say it's not realistic. He's more creepy when he's just, like, the weird clown in the background. Yeah. There you go. Why would she smack him with the big knife instead of cutting him? Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Come on, is she egging him on? Like, get up and fight. Going for the kill. Right. Finish him. <laughs> no one's gonna not believe you that it's self-defense. He killed your friend. You're not in position for revenge. You're not in the right position. <gasps> I didn't know he had a gun. Yeah. Did you? No. She didn't either. Or she would have finished him. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that lady. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny that he practically rolled his eyes like, man, I gotta go back and get more bullets. I thought her phone was dead. Yeah. Oh, it's the friend's phone, huh? sit come around the back oh wow poor sister she's at home studying she wasn't out partying and drinking and doing anything and now she's wrapped into this mess <laughs> so I guess is the sister the sister is gonna be the new target oh, I feel like she could have probably killed him but There's a dead woman in your basement. What? Yes, dead, dead, all dead. He's killing them one by one by all one. Dead. I can't. Yeah. Look, help me. Please, help me. Oh my God. Okay. He's behind you. He's behind you. Come on, you guys. My mom is here. 
Yeah, why would she be wandering around the building? I would just be calling them or texting yeah, from, like, you know, outside. Like, no one's gonna go that deep into a building like that. Uh, We're gonna stand at the door and try to call you. Ooh, look how he has oh, the fake he baby. Has her, has her ba- quote-unquote baby. Give her to me. I was Don't surprised she left the baby. Like, we know it's not real, but... It's real to her. If it's real to her, you'd think she wouldn't have left it alone down there. Yeah. It's okay. Mommy's here. Have you ever felt... A mother's touch. That's a good question for a serial killer, actually, because they always have issues with their mothers, don't they? Yeah. You show no mercy. Or I should say, parents. She's all I have. May not be the mother. We'll see if he has any sort of. He, she can kind of trigger Spare. some sort of empathy or something. I have a feeling not. Ooh, his eyes. Probably, are probably not. But we'll see what we have. What yeah. we're dealing with here. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, it worked. Well, maybe. He's gonna, like, do something to her. He's still gonna do something, like, he's just pretending. Yeah, it's not the end of the movie. (laughs) Hello? Is anybody in there? The last time I do this. Well, it will be the last time she does this, because there's no one to pick up anymore. Well, she hears the phone. Now she can see that her friend friends in two pieces, and she can leave. <laughs> <laughs> she'll see that she's in two pieces, and she'll leave. <laughs> her friend had to split. <laughs> Put on <the> bomb, sorry. <laughs> I know you're in there. Come on out. I can understand throwing up with that. I know she wants to save her friend, but now you call the cops. You have a phone. And I think she's going to be a little more invested because it's her sister. The, the other girl is the friend, but this is her sister. Uh, so she's probably, like, thinking, I have to find her. Are you alive? Or is there some messed up thing going on right here? She was shot in the head. Yeah, I don't see how she could have survived that. She didn't. There's some messed up thing going on here. What? Dancing up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Wait it's a woman? Oh, it's the woman from before, I guess. The one who was Wait, mutilated maybe, at, the, at the news anchor. The news. Well, yeah, but like, all is he wearing uh, a skin suit? Like, Why is he walking like that? Yeah, I was wondering if he's doing it. Yeah, that's really weird. The walking is creeping me. It could just be a woman, and maybe the woman from the one that was talking to the news anchor. Maybe she's really been the killer. No, no I see it. Ah, oh, gross. Uh, totally doing a uh, uh, wearing the body of yeah. the victim. He's got a. He's got a. His eyes get a pop over the. <laughs> me, yeah, I think so. He too. knows you're in there. Uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> his eyes gonna pop over. Why is he looking at it that long? <laughs> now I know why he was looking at it that long. To provide ample time for the killer to come get him. Uh, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but probably. probably. <laughs> but I can't. I couldn't look at him sawing off his head. Look at her wandering all the way through that building. <laughs> Now he's just mocking you. Why did she come further down the stairs? She needs a weapon. (laughs) They don't want to get weapons. Brad's catchphrase. You need a weapon. You need a weapon. You do need a weapon. Well, maybe take the tricycle and, like, you know, ride it away. Ew, the rat. Oh, that's That's gruesome. Yeah, I don't... Oh, no, and we all have our thing. Like, I couldn't watch the head get set off, and you might be like, okay, the suffocation is what gets me, you know? Yeah, just poke it. Yeah, just poke it. There she goes. Good, good job. Well, I'm surprised he's confused by that. Look at that. How did she get away? He had to think that was a possible way to escape. (laughs) I thought he was a professional. There you go. How did she use the get away? How did she do it? No, oh, he's still alive, but not apparently hanging by a thread. If the sister that came to pick them up, mm-hmm. if she gets out of it, I feel like the moral of the movie will be, like, 
don't go to parties and drink. Stay home and study. The girl who stayed home to study survived, and the girl who went out to the party and drank yeah, didn't survive. Definitely a beautiful thing to <laughs> I get it. I do. It's her sister, but get out of there. You're in danger. People underestimate how much things on your skin can hurt. Like, yeah. your skin just... Oh, good. Here it comes. Yeah. Now finish it. <laughs> no, he's gonna walk away. <laughs> Don't stop. He's unconscious. This is your chance to take his head off. No, he's not going to. Come on, finish him. Then they wouldn't have, like, a movie franchise. So. <laughs> uh, it's still fun to watch him. Go. He's gonna There's come. a phone over there. I'm gonna call the police, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you, I promise. What kind of injuries does she have? She's cut all over. The place is really deep. I, I, I don't know. She's bleeding all over the place. Damn it! That's gruesome. Yeah. The actor who plays the clown hasn't had one line in this whole movie. No. But they're the main character. You did text. Does that count? <laughs> oh. There you go. I feel like the police would rush over there super fast because they know there's a murderer on the loose. Right. So they're probably thinking, okay, this guy is probably the murderer. Look, don't dead open and Yeah. Come on, let's, let's keep out. <laughs> She lost her ponytail. If you can get in, so can he. Right? What is that? <laughs> That's just a creeper out. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to terrify her. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how this connects to the part with the news anchor. Um, or talk show host, news anchor, whatever Oh, she is. yeah, with the mangled face. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that was a creepy signal. I thought she was going to be rescued. Well, maybe she is. Maybe she. Maybe it was a. Uh, she's the. Like it was the, kind of like a prequel type of. Yeah, maybe it's a prequel. Maybe she's the girl that was mangled. He better get away because he won't be in movie part two and three if he's there when the cops. Come. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he does have a. I feel like at this point they would have just shot him already. Yeah. Do it! Oh. No, no, no! What? I'm okay, huh. That didn't go the way I thought it would go. Wow. Did that go the way you thought it would go? No. So he's dead. Oh my god. I guess he's not in part what? two and three. Police found him eating the face off of some young girl oh. after he ran her over with a truck. Something's up. He's not dead. Oh, never yeah, well, I feel so like... Uh, like... Was it a fake gun? Grab, I don't know. A breakfast sandwich it's with bacon or something with bacon? All right, once you've seen an eight-month-old microwave to death... What? Everything else is just old hat. I'm gonna do a Michael Myers here or something. <laughs> you're right. I think you're right. It could be where there's, like, each movie is a new terrifier, like, a victim, like, yeah. becomes the terrifier or something. Right. Ooh. How <laughs> yeah. we get out of there? This is gonna, this is gonna be. <laughs> so how did he do that? Then I guess it was a fake gun. They or, shot him. or he's supernatural. He has a, he's like a demon. That's true. We don't know if he's supernatural or not. They're all talking well, about her. Like take she's care of yourself, Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, good luck with your interview tomorrow. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Surely plastic surgery could do better than that. <laughs> that was a terrible plastic surgery. Well, I mean, I have They seen have some, to make her look Well, I have seen some pretty bad. It's usually it's somebody like, you know, Sorcy is the cat. Oh yeah, the cat. The, the, the make a noise. Did we see a cat? I don't think we saw I think we just, I don't think so. It was a little goofy. I mean, it was a little... I think people could tell by our reaction. We thought it was a little cheesy. 
Well, I don't oh. think this movie was intended to be serious. No, it, I don't either. I think it was kind of supposed to be a little it's, over it was the top. To be a gore <laughs> fest, over the top gore fest. Even at the end credits, I mean, in, mem- in memory of like those three famous mm-hmm. horror directors, I, I think there was a lot of inspiration taken from from the from those guys. Um, I I did like I didn't enjoy certain aspects of it just because I I like. Um, crazy crazy movies yeah. like this um, where crazy it, stuff it was, happens it was crazy stuff happen this is a serial killer or this is a killer that uh likes to do the torture thing and mm-hmm. that's like to me a slightly different than say he enjoys it uh art the clown uh, yeah. definitely enjoys what he does it, it's art to him i believe <laughs> i don't know if they actually yeah. mean it that way i'm pretty sure i bet they do I bet, sounds I bet, right well he made you know the the jack o' lantern out of the head, so he's definitely yeah. he makes an art. Of he wants it. to have he likes to have crafts. He wants yeah. projects to do. <laughs> yeah, it was he gruesome. even made a skin suit. He made a skin suit. Yeah, de- definitely some. I definitely saw some call outs to like some other famous horror movies, like like um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which was inspired by Ed Gain, and you know some other movies like that. Yeah. Have you seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro? Yeah, all of them. Um, I've seen at least two. I don't know which ones, but I have. I think the original one, and then some other one. I've seen two two different Texas okay. Chainsaw. Well, we'll find the ones you haven't seen, and we'll, we might react to them oh, at, some point, <laughs> at some point. At some point, um, not not or soon. Yeah. Maybe at some point. I like scary movies that are creepy and have just a creepy vibe, and maybe you know, like you said, supernatural. Maybe there's supernatural things. There's ghosts, or maybe even demons, something like that. Um, I'm not as big of a gory person, just mostly because I can't look. I'm like, oh, oh, I can't look, I can't look. <laughs> so I don't handle all the gore very well. It's not too bad on, like, let's say The Walking Dead, because even though they kill a lot, it's a little different somehow. I don't know why, it just is. But in a movie where they, like this, where they have the victim and they, like, saw off their head or cut them in half, and I get kind of, like, squeamish about it. So it's not my favorite when it's gory like that, I like more of a just a creepy vibe. Yeah, no, I, I actually agree with that. I think um, in my more younger in my younger years, I think I, I just I love you know the uh, the gory Friday the Thirteenth <laughs> type of movies because uh, I always think of them as almost a survival movie. Like how will you get out of this? You know mm-hmm. how are you gonna how would you survive the night? Yeah, I, I mean overall, obviously there was um, I could I, you could tell there was some low budget to this which yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's a some, it's, sometimes I can be a bit of the charm um, mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes low budget more movies can't it, it, there, there can be some charm to the fact that there's not you can tell it's a little bit on the lower budget side but um yeah. but yeah I I think anytime you watch a show or a movie that has some kind of survival aspect you are always thinking how can they get out of this if they would just do this you know or like you were talking about they need a weapon or you don't want to go in this room. Don't go in the basement. You always think about how they can survive. Yeah. Um, in most scary movies, there's not as much of that to think about. But in a movie like this, there's a lot. You know, <laughs> we were yeah. con- kind of constantly thinking, if they would just go here, don't do that. Find a weapon. You got to really hit him. You got to take him out. Yeah. So. Well, I find I do find the the, the uh, killers and movies. There's other movies I've watched where they're were they're more like the torture, play with the mm-hmm. victim and. I find that almost a little more triggering because they're they're toying with the victim yeah. and the and, and I don't know laughing it's meaner their face. somehow. We want them to want them to survive. So when they make really terrible decisions, it's like you know they're going to make the bad decision because that's what this movie is. But it's still triggering <laughs> to me. I'm like, man, do it. Just pick up the weapon because you know. And that's why I was getting into it because I, I just don't like seeing people. I know. Being tortured by another person. It's, it's almost it, like in a really extreme form of bullying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like I just, you know, I just want them. To, I do want them to get out of that situation. But I know that's not what this movie's about. This movie is right. about terrifying us. And and um, and there were definitely some creepy scenes. I thought the creepy scene with with the skin mask suit or whatever oh. that was that that yeah. that image was very horrifying. I and thought. props to the actor because he had no lines at all in this whole movie unless I missed something. I don't think he had any lines. That scene where he had the skin suit and he was kind of like almost dancing around, like just his posturing and everything was very very creepy. Like no lines and he was able to really pull off all of that, you know, really play a character and not be just this guy that doesn't talk. I mean, he really played a character. So, 
Ugh. I do have a confession to make. I didn't mention this earlier because Brooke does not like gory movies, but I did see that this was voted the goriest movie Thanks. of the year. So I didn't want to say that because I thought she wouldn't watch it. Thanks, honey. <laughs> but I did see that. I didn't say that until later, but it was voted. I did see that it was voted the goriest movie of the year. I didn't know much about this movie, but I didn't know that. I knew it was, I, I hadn't seen, I didn't I don't even think I watched a trailer on this movie. I've seen, I've seen like still images mostly and just advertisements, but, um, but no, no trailers or anything. Um, well, I didn't even look up anything about it. I didn't know anything because yeah. he didn't want me to have spoilers because it might kind of ruin the reaction if we already well, know I it's when. So I knew nothing. So I would have no idea that it was the glory. And in, in fact, like I said at the beginning of the video and our intro was she even met Art the Clown and didn't even know. She just thought it was a friendly <laughs> clown. <laughs> but I, I have a feeling this isn't going to be on the high end of your rating list, but I'm going to ask anyway. What would you rate this movie? It doesn't have to be... Honest rating. What would you rate okay. this movie? Uh, I, honestly, probably only like a like a three. And it's it's not because it was bad or anything. It's hard for me to rate it objectively because it's not. I don't really love that type of movie. Um, just how like the goriness and almost the almost the campiness of it in a way. So where it's so it's not campy, but what I'm saying is it's so over the top that it almost becomes campy. So, not really my favorite thing. Um, I tend to like movies that are scary, more like The Ring, The Conjuring series, stuff like that. So, it's hard for me to be objective about it. I don't know. I probably can't go too much higher than that. What do you think? Uh, They'd probably give it a better rating than I would. A little bit. Uh, um, okay, so, it, it, definitely ha it, de it definitely has its faults. Um, it wasn't the perfect you know, of anything. And I don't even think it was the perfect slasher movie. I do think it, it provided some very horrifying imagery. And the, uh, as far as the style of movie, there's been other movies I like better. What so, do you think is a similar, right. like, um, can you think of anything that's like a similar style? I mean, I guess it's in the Texas Chainsaw type okay. of area, maybe. But that, yeah. that one was taken a slightly more serious, I think. Yeah. Um, well, um, maybe, well, maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> 2 was not serious. That was more of a spoof. Um, so something like that. It was kind of a mix of serious and spoof with some real scary scenes, but also super gory and kind of over the top. Um, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would say it's something like that. Okay. Tell us... In the comments, if you like this type of movie better, the more, like, um, gory type of scary, or if you prefer stuff like The Ring, The Conjuring series, more of that spooky type of scary. Yeah, and I, my rating was based on this type of movie. Right. Overall, I, I wouldn't really, you know, I, I like I said, I prefer, like, The Ring and things like that when it comes to horror, but okay. um, but I do like these movies, too, so they're, they're kind of like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, um, anyway... If you like this video, if you like to see more movies like this, um, give us a like, and we'll and so that helps support our channel too as well. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, like I said, comment below what type of scary you like yes. better: gory, scary, scary, gory, scary, or just like creepy, spooky type of scary. Right? Yeah. yeah. Which which do you like? So anyway, it's we're we're in October now, so yeah. uh, Halloween yeah. is coming, and we're coming. ready for it. See you in the next one. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>